Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Arsene and this is the Dynamic Modeling of Cities 2019 channel and within this video we'll be teaching you guys how to use greenery elements and also place trees within the program 3ds max so you can utilize it to rejuvenate your area create some landscape and also bring more greenery in general into 3ds max because sometimes it can be stale in that aspect so what we're going to do today is highlight a plugin and that plugin is called the forest pack make sure you download that there is a live version and a pro version the pro version will come at a cost the live version will be very limited with what content is available but once you do have that you can use that in 3ds max as a plugin but just by simply adding it in once you've done that when you have your two objects placed into this terrain or into this perspective in this maximum viewport all you need to do is click on your geometry then go to the it double o software once you're there you can press forest light and that will activate your forest light package and then from there you can select from a library of vast options that could be 2d elements 3d elements as you can see we got shrubs we have 3D plants, uh, starter libraries, rocks, things like that you can utilize within your design and make things happen for the long run of the design and give it more energy. So what we're gonna try to do today is create some terrain with that and create some greenery as we're gonna click the common grass with that one over there, import selected, then click the terrain you wanna import it to. So we're gonna do that as the plane level and then it will start to generate on there as you can see. So we have a greenery element connected to that and the greenery element is kind of stuck to the actual terrain or the object that it's supposed to be like elevated on. In this case, it's the plane acting out at the floor or as the contours of the map and the greenery is above it. With the wall, it's just gonna stay there as a way to highlight if the building was there, like the facade of it and then the greenery against it. Then alongside that, you can create a trees as well by just clicking the forest light once again, then selecting the tree option. Then go back to your 3D options, pressing the starter kit and going down to the uh, silver maple tree and then you'll be able to place that on the terrain as well. Add certain aspects for it as well. Which you can see here as it's got a larger scale at the moment, which we're gonna use the tool for it. And hopefully you can shrink it down like that and then have your maple tree there as well. And we move the positioning of that maple tree over there. So now we start to have a little bit more terrain in there, more livelihood to the design itself. And then you can go into the forest light package again. It's like other objects for your landscape could be stones. You can go for that as well. Place a stone into the landscape and have that placed there as well. And then you start creating the landscape that you need for your design as you place your building into that vast landscape. This is the only program that I could find or plug in that you can utilize for placing trees into there and utilizing that as a factor within your design before taking it to Photoshop to place more or V-Ray or even Lumion. So that's how you place trees and objects and change landscape within 3ds Max. And that is all for this video. I'll catch you guys later.